These six things that people do every day are nearly as bad as smoking when it comes to your long-term health and longevity. The first is gonna be sitting for long periods of time. You might've heard that sitting is the new smoking, but there's actually some data to back this up. So if you sit or are sedentary for five or more hours per day consecutively, this actually had similar risk when it comes to all-cause mortality and cancer rates compared to smoking. Next up is gonna be omega-3 status. So one of the longest running studies is the Framingham study. And when we look at that, at research, we see that people with poor omega-3 status or who are omega-3 deficient have similar risk as smokers when it comes to all-cause mortality and cardiovascular disease. Third on the list is going to be sleep loss. So sleeping less than five hours per day is going to be just as bad as smoking when it comes to your long-term health and longevity. The next risk factor is going to be low muscle mass. So a recent 2023 study actually showed that there was a 57% increased risk in terms of all-cause mortality when you have low levels of muscle mass or not a lot of skeletal muscle tissue on your frame. Five is going to be loneliness, and this is a serious one. So actually feelings of loneliness, even if you're around other people, but just how that is described from an emotional health perspective was found to be as significant as smoking 15 cigarettes per day when it comes to your long-term health. And last but not least, we have low or below average levels of cardiorespiratory fitness. These folks have as great a risk as smokers when it comes to all-cause mortality and just their general risk of dying. Now, if you lift, you get your steps in, you may not fall in these lower or below average groups. One of the reasons that things like zone two cardio has become so popular recently because VO2 max seems to have an interesting correlation when it comes to reducing our risk of dying and improving longevity and overall health. So those are your six factors that are going to increase risk for things like cardiovascular disease, cancer risk, and just overall all-cause mortality. Share this video and follow Sam Miller Science for more.